Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snope. And today I'm going to show you how to make a Google Voice number. Now what is a Google Voice number and why should you actually really take a look at it? A Google Voice number, what it is, is basically a called forwarding. So a real life example and why I made one in the first place is way back when when I was in high school, I worked as a helper for a local veterinarian. And this includes holding down animals and and basically doing helping in surgery and doing whatever that was asked. So with that one in mind, I obviously would get calls once in a while and say, hey, we need to come in and, and stuff like that because things happen. So one day uh, I was on a family share plan back then. I think it's still popular today, but I was on a family share plan back then and, you know, people with business stuff got going on. They're always on the phone, so the minutes were used up. Well, what ended up happening is they tried to call. The thing wouldn't even dial through, so they even couldn't, couldn't even leave a voicemail. So how, would, how was I supposed to know? And they told me about it. And I was like, what? So that night when I got home, I found Google Voice, set that up and said, here's my new number. They said, so you changed number? I said, yep, th th this is my number. I just, I didn't explain any further. I said, this is my number. That won't happen again. Don't worry about it. That won't happen again. And that's the type of person I am. You tell me a problem. If I know of a solution, then I'll try to do it and no questions asked. And if um, I don't know the solution and I try to find one, given it's reasonable. And there's the thing. So with that in mind, these things can happen. And then another advantage to it is, say for example, you have home phones, which a lot of people still do today. What you can do is you can set it up where it will call all the phones it'll call your cell phone your home phones and so on or you can even set it say don't ring in certain times of the day block certain numbers or even have it where that uh, i mean there's plenty of settings on it in fact why am i telling you just take a look at some of the settings so with that uh let's jump into set this up so from here, what you need to do is simply go to your Google Voice and make sure you have a Gmail account. I don't think that this is available worldwide, but if you if you uh, want to check, just go to Google Voice and see if it's available. If it's not, it's not. And leave a comment below Tell me that it's not. Uh, I I'll be interested and figure out where it's not available. And if it does become available, maybe someone who, who's in the same country will be able to help you out. With this, uh, one thing I would tell you is I don't think it'll be smart to have a, a out country number. I, I don't know exactly how that works. I don't have to worry about that because United States but if you're in Europe, I, I don't, I don't even know if you can get it. If you can, I, I don't know how that works because I know each country is almost the size of a state, a small state in some cases, larger than others. So I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> but anyways, uh, with that being said, there's help pages. Once you go to your Google Voice, you have to agree to terms. Once you agree to that, you want to either pick a new number or use a current number. Now, let's say that something happened and it closed out. You can go back to your Google Voice and just go to the where it says get a voice number and it brings you back to where you would be. From here, what you can do is I'll advise you to go to want a new number versus if you have a used number already because what happens is back in the day and i don't know if it's still implemented today and i, I think it was even last year they were implementing this is if you're using a a number already 
that is already being used, then what happens is basically you're limited by far. This might have changed over time, and I think Sprint allows you to do this. I, I'm not really sure about the other carriers, but um, you want to use that, check your number, check availability. If it's there, it's there, it's not, it's not. Again, I don't advise that method. What I advise is I want a new number. From here, what you can say is your number to your phone or house, Some, something that you got with you right now. So what happens is, is you're going to put in the number to whatever, if I can remember it. And then, of course, it's going to be blocked out. And then you're going to say if it's work, mobile, whatever. And this is for your personal reference. So, because you can have the Google Voice forward the stuff to, again, your house, your phone, and stuff like that. So, you, it's, it's something for you. Then from here, you say continue. It will give you a two-digit code. From there, you simply say call me now and I'll be back. Once you okayed it, it'll take you to this page or to this thing. You will have an option on the thing when it calls you after you put in your activation code to actually go and record your greeting and everything. I personally would say wait to later. I mean, it's up to you if you want to do it right now, but wait to later. So from here, what we want to do is go ahead and um, put in your local city zip code or whatever. I, I don't think it matters nowadays. Back in the days, in fact, I think it was back when I was doing this, probably been 2007, probably before then. I, I don't know, but basically, there is uh, roaming charges even if you're on the next county and this is where that came important nowadays you can be in California and I can be in here in North Carolina and we ain't having a problem because that's out the window especially with something like this it's out the window this is meant for other people so with that being said pick your area if you uh Let's uh, try this. Hey, by the way, by the way, real quick, I um, I used to live in Florida, Cocoa Beach. Their um, three two nine three one. Their thing is three two one. That actually came in place because the rocket, because NASA's in that area, and uh, the countdown three two one. Like, quick story. But if you want an area code of 321, you know, just doing that, that's a way to do that. So I'm going to pick mine real quick and I'll be back. Then once you pick your number, it'll say you're successfully and as a reminder of your number, it's this. And basically it will tell you what you can do with it. And I, I highly suggest you watch their video. From here, what I personally would suggest is going through this interface take a look at it, but go to the settings real quick and what you need to do is go and add some numbers to do that in mind while you might see something like this what i'll advise if you have android you can actually download the google voice application and this will automatically take care of a lot of that so it'll actually guide you to exact locations to do a lot of this and you'll even have an option to, and I like this part, you'll have an option per call to say if you want to go through a Google Voice or go through via the regular phone system. I like that because some people are eh, and it allows you to go through a regular phone. Other cases, you know, it's whatever. But with this, you, you can add another phone and this will allow you to name the phone so blah number and then say whatever it is 
and then you can go advanced op options and even tell it when is it okay to ring or not okay and this is one of the biggest things with this is you can actually tell it is it okay for this thing to ring at all and that way you, you don't have a problem with the thing going out at all so you can also go and tell in case if you missed this before tell it to notify me when a um, new voicemail comes in by text and also to receive text messages on this phone and basically what would end up happening is you would end up getting a text message to google voice itself it'll be sent to your email at the same time it will send a text message to your phone and from there it will say something like some weird stuff at the top and says uh, from google voice or something like that. i forgot what it says and then it will say the actual text message and who's from and stuff like that from here you can go for i won't worry too much about the uh, billing and stuff if you're using it purely for the voicemail text message and things of this nature but um the voicemail and text i'll suggest you going through here record a greeting you can do it on your computer you can do it on your, your phone at least i think you can do it on your computer but you can play it on here here and stuff like that see where your emails are being sent to and all that stuff and even tell it that you want to automatically get the transcripts and you can tell it that it's okay to analyze this stuff or not. The circles and stuff, I'll advise you to use this because what happens is you can actually add it where they get a different thing. And not only that, you can, you can end up making it where they can easily contact you and stuff. Now, the cool thing with this is when someone calls you for the first time, what normally happens is, is a voice comes up, says, please say your name or something like that. From there, it will record the person's name. And that way, whenever they send you a, uh, a, a call in the future, you'll get a little play thing and you hear whatever the person said i was even delete that in case they mess up which actually happens a lot believe it or not because a lot of people are not familiar with this unfortunately but with that in mind it's easier to sort things out and, I, and i've had used that in the past on many of my other systems and be able to figure out if i want to talk to that person or not right then and there so uh, again, I suggest going through the entire system, getting familiar with it. You can easily go rarely going into here and using a lot of functions, especially if you got the voicemail application on your phone. And in case if you're wondering about MMS, like picture messages and stuff, that will be emailed to you. So you will have that. Now, one thing I want to tell you right now is if you do switch accounts and stuff an easy way to do it is by going to the settings going under the phone tab and then click in transfer and go and that will transfer all the stuff if power i'm covering a how to a full how to on how to move your stuff from one google account to another if however it's banned and or or whatever i i don't care you can change it or delete but it takes 90 days otherwise um, it takes 90 days for the um, deletion to be thoroughly through and you can use that number again and you won't be able to get the stuff so like say for example if I click delete so it'll tell you right here um, it'll take 90 days you can reclaim the thing in that time and that means that you either have to wait or you can do change and what happens here is it takes a good portion amount of time I forgot what um, three months yeah 
Yeah, it would take about three months. And the reason for that is down here is any calls or texts going into that will automatically forward it to your new number. And then after that three months, it will be available for anyone to use. It's important to note that and everything. I would advise what you can do instead is just forward the stuff. Just make a brand new number all entirely and deal with it because what's going to end up happening is you can run some major problems and um, what would end up happening at the end of the day is, is the um, obvious. So with that, hopefully this has helped you out in doing this. And if it has, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and share. And feel free to check out our Patreon campaign and donate there to help these type of videos get funded and keep coming out. But anyways, see you in the next video and hope you have a great day.